So in between Donald Trump's post where he's selling Bibles for $59.99, other posts where he's making videos of himself, quite literally begging the MAGA supporters for money, and in between the post of Donald Trump's ranting and raving like an unhinged lunatic attacking judges and judges' daughters, I noticed that Donald Trump posted something very interesting about him and Melania. It's a very weird video montage of him and Melania together. I'll show you just some of the photos right here. He uses copyrighted music, so I'm not going to play the video, but it's a kind of a bizarre kind of tribute video to Melania Trump. And so it made me think and our editorial team think here at the Midas Touch uh, Network, what is going on with Donald Trump and Melania? So we know that when Donald Trump voted in the Florida primary, where he underperformed in almost all of the primaries, he was with Melania there. It was the first time we saw her in a very, very long period of time. And Melania was asked a very basic question about whether or not we would see more of her on the campaign trail. And it should be a very simple answer if there was a supportive spouse, the same way Dr. Jill Biden's out there every single day with uh, President Biden as he crisscrosses uh, the country and swing states. But remember what Melania said here, play this clip. Trump, Mrs. Trump, are you going to return to the campaign trail with your husband? Stay tuned. Stay tuned. Are you going so what may be going on with Melania here? I have five theories that I think are rooted in some objective reality that I want to share with you. And then I want to hear from you what you think. Number one is the Midas reporting on Melania. I think we've been relentless in digging up Melania's past. And if you go and look out the videos we've done about Melania's secrets getting revealed, which has a million views, when you look at the videos we've done about uh uh, Melania dissing Donald Trump to his face, which got 1.3 million views. When we did a deeper dive into Melania Trump being brought to the United States of America by a someone named Paolo Zampoli, who ran a uh, modeling agency that connected Eastern European models with wealthy, older businessmen in Manhattan and would have these parties, these gatherings at a club called the Kit Kat Club where he would kind of bring them together. That video did about 3 million views where um, uh, Donald Trump uh, got embarrassed by Melania refusing to be with him. That video did 2.3 million views. Another one did about 1.1 million views. And if you've been following our reporting, we took a scalpel and we dug into all of these things. I'll give you the high level summary right here, but I invite you to watch all of those videos, which is Melania Trump was brought to the United States in the uh, late 1990s by Paolo Zampoli um, under the pretext, if you will, that she was uh, a, a model. Um, and then Paolo Zampoli would bring Melania and other Eastern European women to his parties. This was covered by the New York Times about how Zampoli introduced Melania to Donald Trump at a Kit Kat club, as it was called. And then uh, Melania then got a genius or Einstein visa. Her process was expedited. And this all happened around the time as well that uh, Madame Ghislaine Maxwell, as she was referred to at that time by the Sunday Mirror in an article in 1997, was bringing um, girls and women to Donald Trump at that time. There's a whole article right there about how Ghislaine Maxwell brought uh, these women to Donald Trump. He would put them in his apartments. I mean, the article is very coarse in how it describes it. Go back. I'm not going to redo all of those videos, but you know, there's the article from 1997. One year later, Donald meets uh, Melania through a modeling agency, and then the rest is history right there. So that's one theory. Is it, is it Midas reporting that is um, basically causing Donald Trump now to try to, you know, say things that are nice about Melania as there's more scrutiny over Melania. 
Another theory is that the Washington Post just uh, ran an article um, and the Washington Post article also did a kind of deep dive into Melania's background, but focusing on Amalia Navs, Melania Trump's mother, um, the process whereby um, those who are made citizens here can then bring their parents or other siblings is derided by MAGA Republicans, what they call chain migration. They use that in a very derogatory way, but that's ultimately how Amalia Navs, uh, Melania's mother, got into the United States. And that's a process that when Donald Trump took office, he tried to uh, remove and he tried to destroy that process. And he speaks out against the very process that brought his late mother-in-law here to the United States. And as part of the 100 plus page immigration file that the Washington Post got through a public records request, which they were entitled to, when someone passes away, you can access these uh, immigration files. Um, one of the questions that was asked to Amalia Nobbs is, does she know what the rule of law is? She did not uh, get that question correct. She provided no answer on her immigration test, although she did know where the Pacific Ocean is. So could that be an explanation for why Donald Trump is posting these weird videos of Melania because she's pissed off at him? My third theory right here is the Stormy Daniels hush money trial is starting in two weeks. Donald Trump has you know, already tried to post or he's already posted no affair, horse face, referring to Stormy Daniels in very derogatory ways. He may he has made posts on a social media platform where he claims that they had no relationship at all, no affair, no, no anything at all. Stormy Daniels is said to testify. So I think Trump realizes that all of this stuff is going to be discussed, you know, his, uh, you know, other sexual relationship with Karen McDougal, who he paid off as well, what went down with Stormy Daniels, which, you know, she describes as a very short, uncomfortable, disgusting thing. She describes his genitals as being very small and weird and how disgusting and smelly he is. And so all of that's going to kind of come out again. And, and here is Donald Trump, you know, just so you hear him at a recent speech that he gave, you know, attacking Stormy Daniels. So just play this clip. To bring charges against me for now ancient, no affair story of Stormy Horseface Daniels, no attraction, <laughs> no affair, I call it no affair, where there is no crime anyway. So that's a, a theory as well for what's going on there. Um, how about the fact that we know that Melania has renegotiated her prenuptial agreement as a postnuptial renegotiation multiple times? We covered it here on the Midas Touch Network when she previously did that. Is she trying to use the Stormy Daniels trial as further leverage right now to get more money from Donald Trump, whether it's with digital world acquisition company um, going public? Is she trying to get some stock there? Is she trying to, you know, leverage this moment um, in a significant way? Is that what's happening here? Um, you could be the judge. And, and finally, I think the fifth thing going on here is Donald Trump's I guess lawyer, we, we, you can call her still, um, Alina Haba, who's been paid somewhere near three and a half to five million dollars from Donald Trump's political action committees. Her friend, Siggy Flicker, who's always there at Mar-a-Lago. I, I think we have this video of Siggy Flicker running over to Donald Trump recently at Mar-a-Lago. I'm sure uh, Melania loved this. Here, play this clip. <laughs> But you have this whole kind of crew right now of 
of Siggy Flicker and 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 you know and 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 other women who are you know part of this Alina Haba crew and Alina Haba flew them all out to St. Bart's and Daily Mail reported on this lavish vacation at five star resorts where with private villas and everybody just kind of you know celebrating and likely spending more money on just on some lunches than most Americans make in a year. You, you've seen this video right now. Here, play this clip. And so with Alina Haba living the good life, with the Croc Birkin bags, with all of this money she's being paid, is Melania Trump kind of leveraging uh, that moment right now? You know, Donald Trump's leaning on Fox to help him. Laura Ingraham recently interviewed him. I mean, Trump's fundraising is totally in the dumps. So he basically relies on Fox to just amplify him over and over again. And then he tries to have Fox get out these messages for him. So here's like Laura Ingraham in an interview with Fox. That's how you say her name, by the way. We had her, her brother on the show. And here she is basically saying, Melania is great. We need to see her. When are we going to see Melania? Which it seems obvious to me that Trump and Laura kind of, you know, coordinated that moment here. Play this clip. I hear um, a lot this question I'm asked a lot that Jill Biden is everywhere. She's campaigning everywhere um, for, for Joe Biden. And she did in 2020. Will we see more of your secret weapon? Yeah. For those of us who know uh, your wife, Melania, will we see more of her this time around? Um, given her ability to speak so many languages, her ability, he was so wonderful with children and, and everyone. And I think a lot of people here want to see more of her. They love her. I'll tell you. They do. Will we? So, and you know her. She's a very brilliant person. She speaks many languages, the whole thing. She you know, and then I never want you to forget, though, about Melania, when, 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 when who she really is, right? Um, not just the shady past and how she was this Eastern European model brought here to this modeling agency and somehow gets a, a Einstein visa and goes to the club to meet the wealthy. But, hey, 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 he's salacious. I knew you. But I mean, let's talk about who Melania actually is, though, right? Like here she is with all the shadiness and how she got here and how her mother became a citizen and all this shadiness. She has the audacity to attack former President Barack Obama. Never forget that. Play this clip. What is this with the birth certificate obsession? Did he ask to see yours when you met him? Well, I, mean, I needed to put mine anyway, because if you want to become an American citizen, you need to put the, Amer the birth certificate. Right. I have a birth certificate from Slovenia. Mm -hmm. And you don't, do you want to see... President Obama birth certificate I've or not? I've seen it. I've seen it. It's, it's not the birth certificate. Well, it's a, it's a certificate of live birth, right, which they but, get. But Melania, that if they if he insists on what he's saying, then no one in Hawaii can ever run for president because they all get the same live birth certificate. Well, but they need Bet to Midler have. Bette is finished, for example. <laughs> <laughs> they need to have, and in one way, it will be very easy if. President Obama just show it, and because but he it's does. not only it's not only Donald <laughs> who wants to see it. It's American people who voted for him and who didn't vote for him. They want to see that. But it, it's on display in Chicago. We've seen it on the internet. We've seen it. It's it's not the same as yours, but, but it's a it, certificate of live birth. Well, I've, uh, we feel it's it's different than you know birth certificate. All right. Well, I think you should give it up at this point. Well, it's point. not. It's the. It's not. The and Melania has the audacity to talk uh, to um, uh, uh, to attack. Uh, well, not just to attack, but to plagiarize Michelle Obama's 2008 speech. So in the 2016 Republican National Committee uh, and convention when that even existed, remember that Melania just basically just ripped off uh, uh, Michelle Obama like word for word, like the exact same speech. Play this clip. The, the same values, values that you work like, hard for what you, you want in life. For what you want in life. That your word is, that your, your, word bond, is your bond. That you, that you do, do what, what you say, say you're going to do. Keep your promise. That you treat people. That you treat people with respect. With Dignity because and respect, because, because we want, we want our children, children and all children in this nation 
to know that the only limit to the height of your achievements is the reach of your dreams and your willingness to work hard for them. And remember when Donald Trump said that he was going to hold a press conference and uh, that he would give all of Melania's immigration information and he would be very transparent about it, but that was a lie. Here, play, play the clip. Maybe she came in illegally, maybe. Let me tell you one thing. She has got it so documented, so she's going to have a little news conference over the next couple of weeks. That's good. That's good. I love it. I love it. They said... Melania Trump may have come into our country illegally, and how would that be for Donald Trump to be talking? Here's the only problem. She came in totally legally. I mean, you know, so that's what I'm going to say. All right, but you'll see it in a little while. I said to her, no, no, let it simmer for a little while. Let them go wild. Let it simmer. So, folks, Donald Trump seems desperate as ever right now, posting these weird videos of him and Melania, you know, these montages. But um, and they all it just looks so kind of manufactured and sterile and, and weird. But, you know, it seems that as Melania's secrets are being revealed and with all of these other things taking place, that's why Donald Trump's doing that. But anyway, let me know what you think in the comments below. Um, and uh, thank you for supporting the Midas Touch Network. Hit subscribe, let's get to 3 million subs together. It's Ken Harbaugh with the Midas Touch Network. The film Against All Enemies, which I co-produced with Ben Mycellus and this network, has won awards around the world for its up-close portrayal of America's insurrectionist movement. It premieres in the U.S. on March 29th on Amazon and Apple TV. Go to AgainstAllEnemiesFilm.com or click the link below. But don't just watch Against All Enemies. Tell your friends about it. It's one more way to hold accountable to those who threaten our democracy. Thanks Midas Mighty, let's use our power well.